Welcome back, mayors. My name is Takreva, and this is some more city skylines where we're building a beautiful city and it's serenity on earth. Sort of. Um, let's, um, before we instantly get back to building out that new neighborhood that I am building, I wanted to show you something that's now also part of our skyline the Seattle Space Needle. It is now part of our, um, well, a downtown area um, if you want to suggest some more high-rise special buildings that are on the workshop that would fit in here then please let me know wait what odd mutations detected on 10% of people public council still in the fence about invisible people and laser eyes gifted people I think that's an X-Men reference or in humans could be both the humans is basically Marvel's way, is a way Marvel can go. Well, in humans, mutants from X Men are mutated humans, while in humans are humans with Kree DNA, which is an alien race in the Marvel universe that has been unlocked to give them other kinds of power. Gives them powers, basically. So it's two different ways of changing and giving someone superpowers that are distinct within the Marvel Universe. That's at least one way of putting it. And there's going to be some more offices in this area. It's a little bit interspersed. The best thing about offices is that they don't actually give any noise pollution. That is the best thing. So you can just build them really close to the uh, residential areas and people won't really mind that much. And it will allow them to get to work a little bit faster. Now what I do need is a name for this area. So it's probably very likely going to be something uh, tea themed to Friar Fly. You know what, screw it. This roundabout gets people on it. Not every roundabout has to be quite boring and such. Look at all these shops just popping up out of the blue. And there's Cusco Circle. So here we have all these neat looking circles and then we have this really, really messy area. Hmm. I know, I know. I have a name idea. Um, let's first zone the district, which will be something. Ah, damn it! I'm already outside of it. Maple Park is what it gives it as a name. Well, it's definitely not gonna stick with Maple Park. I'll tell you that much. I do like that you can make these really neat-looking districts by just. Having the district tool stick to roads. Um, actually, I'm going to expand it to there. Now we just need the bigger tool to get some more. Ooh, it barely goes well. It just covers a lot more ground faster. Smaller tool. There we go. We do have some power issues down there. And that's annoying. Yeah, power is a bit further away right now. Anyway, this is going to be um, Reaver Town. I know Reavers are the bad guys in Firefly, but they still should have a mansion over here. Oh. This gives me a really cool idea for this area. This is like a really weird yin-yang circle almost. It's a little bit out of shape yin-yang circle. It still looks like a yin-yang circle nonetheless. But I already have a name for this area. Let's first actually zone it and then get to that. Hmm. <sighs> 
Everyone else also excited about going to see the adventures? I did get to see Fury 7 last week. And I'm man enough to tell you all that um, I cried at the end. And if I ever get to see that movie again, I will cry again. So for now, I don't want to see that movie again. Because that got me emotional. Just saying. Actually, yeah. That's also a good thing that I'm going to do to the city. Just wait and see. Uh, first, I'm going to name this district. And just cleaning it in with the small brush because I was bored enough to just talk over it all. And this is going to called Miranda. And now I have a really cool idea that I've had in the back of my mind before. And... I'm gonna try and work it out. So this is gonna be a mostly commercial district. And I'm gonna put a racing, uh, sort of, well, sort of, an area in it with, uh, for, that's not actual for normal uh, use of roads, but it's just gonna be the racetrack of the city. That's um, Hamilton Square. Well, that's actually a pretty decent name for a race area with Lewis Hamilton being quite decent in the past few years. Uh -huh. Hamilton Square. Um, yeah, let's first fix the other neighborhoods a little bit more while we extend this area up to all the way up to here. I did just delete everything. Well, there's one way to do this, of course. First, you actually zone with the road in question. And then you can always dezone the road to actually make it not be a part of that neighborhood. In this case, we're dezoning the highway. Which I did before for the airport, actually. So it's nice and straight along this edge. And you can use that, um, basically, if you, if I were to just remove all the avenues from Reavertown, I could say, hey, no trucks on the outside stretches there, and that'd be fine. Something like this. Get something like this. You get to... That's probably not smart. Anchor district, you go away. Okay, this one really needs to use a bigger one. Okay, just to get it over with, really. And I'll add this back to Miranda. There we go. And Hamilton Square will be named to Walker Park. Yep. I just dedicated that one to Paul Walker, basically. Well, power is still not connecting. Let's give it a crutch then for now. Just to give it some power until the city grows in here. Wow, we still need more in. Is this actual industry or is it offices demand? I'm not sure. That's why I have some more room and eaves down to actually add more industry. And it's already well connected to the outside, so it should not get that much gridlock going on. Probably still will, but... I mean... There's actually what I read recently. Um, over the past 50-odd years, the average job, or the most um, common job in American states has gradually become more and more truck driver. Truck driver is in almost every state the most common job you can find in most states. At least 35 of them if I'm not mistaken. If I don't um, misrecall my uh, knowledge of the map of, of the US. 
So we have Miranda, we have Reaver Town, we have Walker Park. And this is something I'm gonna do off screen though. For now, let's do the dreaded, let's add a couple of uh, subway stations. Again. Yeah, this always gets me quite. Um, let's build one there actually, on the roundabout. Next one's gonna be here. Then there's one. I don't want to build too many because it does give the uh, it does add noise pollution quite a bit. Um, inside Miranda, we're gonna do it later. And I'm quite happy to build one here. One there. Not everyone will like it. This much is true. One there. Um, it's gonna be short. One actually, this is a good point. And I'm gonna build one extra over here. Ah, you know what? One more. I like the metro system in this city. It's something useful. Um, yeah, let's build it right there. This way, I can just simply connect these two together. go this is going to be circle circular route again with two distinct actual parts to it and one like something like that there we go and now we're going to build our routes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's not actually connected to either to any stops over here. That's a gross miscalculation. Let's complete the line though. The mod doesn't work regularly though. Um, what I need to do now is actually destroy a station, or well, a little tiny bit here, and build an extra station. About here. I'll remove a bit more. And a little bit more. There we go, now we just need to fix the lines. And, oh yeah, there's only one going the other way around. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stops. That's actually perfectly fine. This one also doesn't color. Hmm. The mod doesn't con work continuously. Um, we'll call this the Miranda loop. Um, let's see, let's try and stay consistent. Uh, this is, I think this is southbound. If I want to stay consistent, then this is northbound. There we go. Um, and change the colors a little bit. You two. Let's just have fancy colors for most of our, uh, Railway lines, then green needs to be not something green right now. Mm -hmm. And there's another green one that I don't really want to be. I, ooh, light green. That's fine though. That's actually this route here. More colors. And finally, this one. Oh. I did not notice this before, but you actually get a breakdown of the what people are using. Wow, it's mostly young adults and adults using this uh, the River Thames southbound loop. More you know, right? Um, yeah, this is right next to a metro station, so I think this will qualify as being quite decent when it comes to. Uh, Public transport, and in the city this will be um, 
Serenity you at Miranda. You know, just because I can. Um, let's go. No. Go down. Then we go up. And then we go back here and probably down somewhere here. There we go. Now they have an easier... Well, they're probably just still going to use the crow... Yeah, they're still just going to use the regular crosslings. Unless I made this into a highway. But if I did that, that would actually destroy a part here. That would destroy this area. Oh, really? Oh, the subways. The subways in the way. Well, in that case, it's going to go back to what it was. And, um... Please turn back to what you were before, too. Yeah, no, this is probably the least useful. They're just going to use the regular crosswalks. Also, this. For some reason. Um, let's see. Let's have some cool stuff around it, though. Like a skate park. Now, who doesn't like a skate park right next to their high university? If it even gets to fit somewhere. Okay, yeah, it fits right there. That's perfectly fine. Elementary school. University. Skate park. And maybe a football field as well. A soccer field in this case. If you want to be so picky. Yeah, I know. It's soccer. Deal with it. Um, this is now finally connected up. So I can already... Well, finally. It didn't take that long, really. But I can remove those... Miranda will be hopefully quite expensive area. Walker Park, Reaver Town. You know, this chaotic nature is actually quite fitting for Reaver Town, to be honest. Um, you know what? Let's have some more residential, like right here and there. And not here. These will be offices. Because they're closer to the highway. Not too much on the highway, please. And then something like that, and something like this. Yes. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode a little bit shorter so I can have some time to think. I'm also going away for a weekend, so... You're seeing this when I'm already back from going away for the weekend. But... Yeah, that's how it works. That's how recording in advance works, you know? I would like to thank you for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. And leave comments below if you have any suggestions or ideas or criticism or anything. Just don't use bad words because I did get emotional about that final scene in Furious 7. Seriously, the movie is awesome. Go watch it and cry like a baby at the end. I'll see you guys later.